Welcome back, 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 back to the channel, channel, channel. No, I'm just joking, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about some spicy drama going down in the ASMR community. If you don't know what ASMR is, then go away. No, I'm just messing with you. Um, ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, and it's a tingling sensation that usually begins on the scalp and kind of moves down your back to the neck and upper spine, and the ASMR community refers to this feeling as tingles. Tingles here, back, back. So in the ASMR community, JoJo is an extremely popular creator with over 2.85 million subs and about 28 million views on his videos. He's been creating ASMR for about six years now and for the most part is on good terms with most ASM artists. Oftentimes collaborating with them, like in his most popular video, A Thousand Triggers with Friends, where he collabs with 11 other ASMR creators. So what's the problem? Well, JoJo has another channel named A underscore JoJo, where he talks about drama and other internet news, including other ASMR creators. In his newest video titled, This ASMR Has Got to Stop, he targets another creator by the name of Luna Rex for creating not safe for work ASMR and being monetized. All his friends and other creators' videos are demonetized simply for being caught in the crossfire, as he claims. I've heard horror stories and nightmares from my colleagues and, you know, peers in the ASMR space who produce totally safe for work ASMR content, but you have no idea if that video is just not going to get you paid because you're just going to be unfairly demonetized. Meanwhile, you'll have other creators who literally try to ASMR or try to make content that is provocative in nature and they're doing totally fine with monetization. It's so unfair, it's so frustrating and I can't imagine how annoying it would be as a female ASMR content creator to have to go through that. Basically they are punished for visually similar content to those that you find in Luna's videos despite being completely safe. This video shows many of Luna's thumbnails and video content which can be best described as inappropriate. Two days ago from uploading this video, she made this video, ASMR POV medical exam in bed for men, right? All caps for men and then cranial nerve exam, doctor will play, etc, etc. Again, there's another shot just, just all over the lips, just dripping down, lad. While Jojo points out that her bio stating her ASMR is not meant for fetishization or sexualization. About page, right, on a YouTube channel. It says, here's the description, my name is Luna and I create ASMR videos to help people relax, sleep, and spread positivity. Very wholesome. Then they have a disclaimer, four stars, my ASMR is in caps not meant for or purposes. However, <laughs> I'm calling an objection. Here's the thing I don't understand. How can you, in one sentence, say that your ASMR is not meant for fetishization or sexualization purposes when you literally upload a thumbnail like this? This video caused Luna Rex to make a response. But who is she? Luna is an adult content creator with a past in camming who now creates ASMR, cosplays, and posts content to her spicy sites. Now, this is not me calling her out or saying she's a bad person for doing this kind of stuff. She's an adult. You know, she can do whatever she wants. In Luna's response video, I am not the problem with the ASMR community, she brings up that a larger creator, JoJo, attacked her channel exclusively. So today I wanted to talk about something specific about another ASMR creator that has made a video about only my channel specifically. But then a minute later, she goes on to say that she made a video about other not safe work ASM artists like Valeria ASMR and even Corn Hub, the other word. <laughs> and this specific creator has also gone after a few other creators in the past 
which I didn't even know about any of this. No, I understand that she feels attacked. I mean, why wouldn't she, right? It's literally her name, her picture in the thumbnail, and her content in the video. But she already told a fib, you know, a tall tale, one minute into the video. And she tries to frame the entire video as JoJo being a gatekeeper for ASMR and trying to shame her for making this content. You do not get to gatekeep the ASMR community. People can make whatever content they want, okay? Bashing my channel for all of the issues going on with ASMR. And I just want to say that... And he's simply calling out the inappropriate nature of the content being monetized on YouTube in the ASMR niche. She calls JoJo a bully. Do you know what that is? That is a bully, okay? You're being a bully. And it's not okay, and you should not do it to other female creators in the future. And says there's nothing wrong with clickbaiting. I'm not gonna lie, I do clickbait a lot of my thumbnails. And you know what? I have seen many, many male creators also clickbaiting. It may not be using their body, but it is still clickbait. But when a woman does it, then it's horribly wrong because... Although I think that really wasn't his point. Later in the video, she goes on to say she originally wanted to be a normal ASM artist, and you can see that if you look at her content from about four years ago. But she started to create funny content, claiming that her thumbnails are just clickbait and her actual videos are funny. And I originally wanted to start out creating just a regular ASMR channel, but honestly, like, I don't know. I just, I feel like some of the content I make is just more so funny in a way like maybe i messed up and i have a messed up sense of humor but my actual videos are not like have you watched any of my videos i mainly like to act like a crazy person because i think that it's funny all right guys so after doing my research i can confirm that most of her videos are in fact not sexual <laughs> okay now i'm the barber i'm barbara luna what would you like done that's your facial hair you want a full shave? Okay, we can do that, but we gotta be quick. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick, 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 because we have so many more appointments to do, and we are only on appointment number two. We are only on appointment number two. And the closest she gets to being sexual is her try-on holes. This is from Victoria's Secret, but it is from Pink. The top and the bottom. Well, I don't think this takes away from JoJo's point. It helps Luna's case that her content is not the problem with the ASMR community. I mean, just doing research for this video, I found much more inappropriate content from other creators like Soli ASMR, Muna ASMR, and even Twitch's favorite streamer, Amaranth. Now, I'm not sure how to tell if any of these videos are monetized, but they are all on YouTube with millions of views. After posting her video, Luna took to Twitter to make this whole thing an issue about unfairness between the sexes on YouTube. Luna says, I'm going to say one more thing on the subject, and then I'm finished. A main argument given was that male creators are attacked more with demonetization, which is insane. Women get demonetized for literally having breasts, and completely non-sexual videos. Meanwhile, a man could post a video shirtless, and it would be fine. YouTube does demonetize mouth sound videos, ear licking, etc. They don't pick and choose based on gender. It's unfair to all of us. That's why I don't make that content on my main channel and save it for Patreon, unfortunately. Diddly, another ASMR artist and content creator, replied to Luna's tweets defending JoJo and correcting Luna for misconstruing his point in his video. After watching his video, I'm now certain he actually said the opposite, that women are targeted more with unfair demonetization. There are a few of his arguments I disagree with, but to be fair with him, he did specifically mention this being more of an issue for female creators. To which Luna replied, That's fair, don't get me wrong. I am open to debate and hearing other perspectives. What I don't agree with is him signaling out my only channel the entire video. 
I think the argument could have been made without it being a targeted attack on one specific creator. Using multiple examples would have been better or even not getting specific, but he definitely knows that only calling me out as an example is going to cause harassment on my channel from his viewers, even if that's not the initial intention. Now, this is interesting. I noticed that if I look at Luna's comments, everyone is defending her and her content. But if I look at JoJo's comments, people are insulting him and giving this harassment that Luna claims that she would have received. Beyond that, I like that Luna is open to debate, and I hope that both of these creators can come together for a friendly debate and coexist on the platform. I always find YouTube battles interesting like this because you end up with this weird situation where two communities want to you want to support, but you also end up trying to understand each side's point. Now, for me, in my case, I've been a fan of ASMR for about six years. <laughs> you know, I enjoy both of these creators. JoJo, Luna, you know, there's a time and a place for which one. You know, if I'm feeling, you know, a little more appropriate, I'm going to go watch JoJo. If I'm feeling a little, you know, a little long day at work, I'm going to go watch Luna. Get me one of those men massages or whatever, right? But so, it's not really worth possibly saying the wrong thing, losing supporters because you want to make one of these types of videos. I mean, personally in the past, I made a video about Doja Cat. I've made videos about celebrities and those are just celebrities. And I've had weirdos in my replies insulting me, harassing me, calling me ugly and bald and fat and, you know, every word in the book. So I definitely can sympathize for Luna, okay? She's not a bad person. Again, is her content appropriate in every aspect? You know, when I show my, you know, a, a child Luna's videos? Of course not. But I also probably wouldn't show a child JoJo's commentary videos either. Everybody's content is different. Everybody's content has different audiences. Personally, I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that JoJo went too far by directly... um? going after Luna? Do you think he maybe should have just kept it a little more broad and not shown her name, not shown her content? Because personally, I think there are a lot of creators on here, on Twitch, on Kick, who do a lot of this inappropriate content. Again, time and a place. Personally, I don't think he should have um, mentioned her name. He shouldn't have directly linked to Luna. Because there are other content creators that create much worse content that he seemed to have completely ignored. Or maybe he's saving that for another video. And I can understand Luna's points, you know. You gotta do what gets that money. If that clickbait thumbnail is gonna bring you in millions of views compared to a thousand, I completely understand. I want to know what you guys think down below. Let me know in the comment section. If you want to see more random news, drama... Anything like that, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. It's coming. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.